Hi guys, it's Ivy. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you three ways that you can choose your very first crystal. So So in a majority of my videos, you will see a crystal or a stone in the background. And one of the reasons why is because I'm a little bit of a crystal junkie. <laughs> I grew up in the state of North Carolina and in the mountains, there are tons of crystal mines. So I have had a crystal obsession since about the fourth grade when we actually got a field trip to the mountains and we went to do a little bit of crystal mining. To this day, I still have that little box of probably like a hundred small stones that I was able to sort of mine for that day. So yes, I'm really into crystals and since then I have been able to acquire some pretty large stones But I have received feedback multiple times on my channel to talk about crystals and stones And I did get a very specific question about how do you choose a stone? And so I wanted to make a video about how you can select your very first crystal or stone to work with Let me know if you guys are interested in a series on crystals and stones But I'm gonna share with you three ways that will help you choose your very first crystal or stone the first way is to go go to a crystal shop and just look around. Many people that I come into contact with are not aware that crystal shops are in a variety of cities and towns. Even small towns sometimes have crystal shops. So do yourself a favor and just Google crystal shop and the name of your city and you may be surprised to find that there's one in your city. If there's not one in your city, don't fret. Google crystal shops in nearby cities that may be larger or maybe in the mountain area that may be close to you or even in the beach area. One of the first stones that I ever purchased after my crystal mining adventure as a child was at a crystal shop that I happened upon at the beach. I just happened to be looking at some shops and I found a crystal shop and it was really cool and I found a really nice size amethyst and that was one of the first stones that I started working with. So you can find a crystal shop in your city or town, in a nearby city or town or oftentimes when I travel to a new city I'll google and see if there are any cool crystal shops in the area and if so I'll go check them out. That not only opens you up to getting new crystals and stones but also getting crystals and stones that you may not be able to find in your local city and state. So you may be able to find one stone in many places places in Arizona, but you may not be able to find it as easily in Alaska or something like that. So check out different crystal shops when you are traveling as well. They're full of different crystals and stones that you may not have even thought of or heard of, so it opens you up to different options. For example, a lot of people who want to start working with crystals and stones have probably heard of quartz and rose quartz and amethyst because some of these stones are like the basic stones. Like quartz is like the most basic of crystals. That doesn't mean it's not as powerful as any of the other crystals it's just we all know about quartz right if anything but you may run across a stone that you've never heard of for instance I just went to a local botanica in my area and they had a stone called Numite I know about so many stones but I had never heard of Numite it may have been something that would have been good for me to work with but I wouldn't know about it unless I had gone to that particular store so this is a great way to find a stone that you like but also to open you up to different options of stones when you're walking around the store just start I don't want to say touch everything because honestly I don't want a stone that everybody's been touching but pay attention to what you see and what do you gravitate towards when I was at that beach crystal shop I happened to find this stone it's called aventurine it's a green stone and it's great for money work prosperity and abundance work it's also green so it's great for the heart chakra because green is the color of the heart chakra but I had never heard of this stone before that day so I picked this up and I just immediately felt this yes you know it was this energy sometimes in your hand you'll feel that the stone is cold and that feels good to you or maybe it's giving you some type of warming sensation and that feels good to you those are signs that this might be a great stone for you to work with. If you pick up a stone and you just don't feel very much of anything, that's a great sign that maybe you don't need it. And that's cool. Just keep looking around and seeing what you gravitate towards. Pick it up, feel it. If you like it, but the one that you pick up isn't feeling that great, 
pick up a different one of that same stone. It may just be that stone doesn't want to work with you. For instance, this aventurine may not have wanted to work with me. Stones are entities in and of themselves. So they do have somewhat of a personality. So if this stone didn't want to work with me, maybe I pick up a different aventurine and I feel that sensation that says yes. And when I say sensation, don't let that throw you off to think that you need to feel something crazy. It's just a very subtle vibration. It could just be the feeling of it in your hand feels good to you. It could be some type of energetic feeling. It could just be an inner knowing that says, yes, this is the stone for me. So just pay attention, get really in tune with your body before you go into the crystal store. Maybe take a few deep breaths so that you can connect to yourself a little bit deeper and go from there. So the second way that you can choose a crystal or stone to begin working with is to pay attention to what your desires are for your life. Are there certain attributes about your character that you want to change? Is there a health or relationship issue that you want to work on right now if so you can look up different crystals and stones that would work well for your particular situation for instance this is a pretty big citrine your first crystal by all means does not need to be this big I'm again a little bit of a crystal junkie <laughs> But citrine is great for personal power, self-esteem, confidence, sticking to what you say you're going to do, consistency and all of that. So if these are things that you want to work on, citrine would be a great stone to possibly look into choosing. Different yellow stones will work for those same properties because yellow is the color of the solar plexus and that's all about personal power. Citrine is also a really good money and wealth stone. So if you want to focus on wealth and prosperity in your life, perhaps you'd want to get a citrine and carry it around with you to keep you in that vibration of wealth and prosperity. If you're wanting to rid your lifestyle of negativity, perhaps you'd want to choose a black stone like black obsidian or black tourmaline because they both help remove negative energies. You could carry those around, you could meditate with them. If you have a lot of negative energy that you want to alleviate yourself of, the opportunities are endless. This happens to be one of my favorite crystal books. It's called The Book of Stones. I think the authors of this book do a really good job of breaking down the intricacies of stones, their essence and their traits, etc. It's also got a really cool stone property reference index in the back that you can go straight to and let's say you want to work on emotional trauma I'm sure that's not focusing but emotional trauma it says obsidian and mahogany for example so then it also gives you a reference to different health issues that you may want to work on so I'll leave a link to this book in the description box below but you don't need it you can always use Google there are tons of resources and great websites online that will teach you about the properties of different stones so the third way that I'm going to share for you to find your first crystal or a stone is to get a consultation. There are tons of crystal therapists and crystal healers that can possibly help you find your first stone. You can also probably ask someone at a crystal shop even though they probably are going to give you a vague answer to be honest with you unless they seem like they're a really in touch person and they really care <laughs> to help you. But even a vague answer is sometimes a good answer to start with. But today since I've been interacting with so many of you guys and I want to continue to connect with my subscribers I wanted to offer you guys an opportunity to work with me on a short-term basis to choose your very first stone. So I'm offering you a simple email service to determine what may be the best stone for you to work with. It may be your first crystal or if you want a crystal for a particular issue in your life. We can do a quick correspondence about what you're looking to accomplish in your lifestyle and then I can choose a stone for you cleanse it and then send it to you by mail. So if this is something that you're interested in, let me know in the comments below and I will definitely work with you to find a perfect crystal or stone for you to begin working with or for you to use on any particular issue that you want to work through at this point in your life. Crystals are amazing allies for us to work through different challenges in our life, whether they be health, wealth, emotional issues, spiritual connection, connecting to your heart, or balancing any of your chakras. They are solid structures of ancient intelligence and they are only here to help us. So if you are looking for that perfect crystal or stone, I can definitely work with you to do that and send you one that has been cleared and charged and ready for you to begin your journey with crystals and stones. So I hope this was helpful for you. If it was, please press the like button below. Leave me a comment letting me know what is your 
your favorite crystal or stone or if you haven't started working with crystals yet what's one that you've got your eye on thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys in the next one <laughs>